Good afternoon, my name is Scott Solombrino and I am the Executive Director and Chief Operating Officer of the Global Business Travel Association broadcasting live from Calgary at the GBTA Canada event. And today, as my guest, I have Rich Bartram, the Vice President of Marketing and Communications for WestJet. Rich, thrilled for you to be here with us. Well, Scott, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we had an exciting day with Ed yesterday. He gave a phenomenal talk to the audience. Great. And people were highly motivated by it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's the real deal. He's, uh, he's been a terrific addition to the WestJet, uh, the WestJet family. Well, we're actually excited for you. I mean, he's yeah. that good. Yeah. And I think it's fabulous for the brand. Let's talk about um, you know, a complicated subject. What are you doing and how are you dealing with the whole max and when do you think it's going to be back? Yeah, I mean, I, I think everybody knows the date now etched in, every, uh, in our minds of March 13th when the, uh, the airspace is grounded around the world for the, for the max. What we've been doing is, is uh, quite a number of things, actually. So first and foremost, um, we took the opportunity of the grounding of the aircraft to uh, refurbish the cabins. So we are moving from what had been an empty middle seat in the premium uh, section of the aircraft, which was an experiment uh, that actually went well and we recognized that we were going to move down the path to a two and two cabin configuration at the front. So we took that opportunity to refurbish the cabins. And that, of course, has taken place long ago now. Um, but we are maintaining the aircraft as if they uh, are actually flying. So uh, you may see them strewn across the, the country at various airports you land in, but they are being brought into the air, uh, into the hangar. The aircraft are being maintained, fluids changed, et cetera, so that when the, air, when the airspace is ultimately ungrounded, we'll actually be fairly quick in terms of getting back to, to flying. It's got to be a relief for everybody. I mean, we're all waiting for the plane. Yeah, it's it's a you know certainly it's an unfortunate situation, but it is a terrific aircraft. It is it it uh, has been a safe aircraft. It will be one of the safest aircraft ever to fly in history, we believe, and we're just anxious to to get it flying for uh, for our guests. So you're going to have to overcome some hurdles when it comes yeah. back, uh, according to a Financial Times article that I did, we did a survey of our members and almost 48% said they had concerns about putting their passengers in the planes. And Boeing's done a great job in trying to allay those fears and I'm sure the airlines are going to get heavily involved. Uh, to make people feel comfortable. Yeah, I read your article and, and we're seeing uh, similar research here in Canada. We actually commissioned our own research. We've done that twice now. The first one was uh, when the aircraft is ultimately or the airspace is ungrounded, who do you want to hear from? And what was really interesting there was very few, few people wanted to hear from Boeing, very few people wanted to hear from the airline and who they wanted to hear from was, and, and more than 90%, actually wanted to hear from the regulator. So as much as we can talk about we believe this aircraft to be safe and Boeing can say that, there's also, the the, the public recognizes there's a vested interest in having the aircraft flying again. So they want to hear from the regulator and that helped us. We shared that information with Transport Canada so that they understand when it is when the airspace is ungrounded, there's still a role for them to play in helping uh, overcome some of the uh, the anxiety that the public's going to have. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that people are going to be able to work through it. Um, we all are supporting Boeing. It's a good thing for everybody in the global travel sector that the plane be, be recertified and back yeah. in the air and we all are hoping for that. So. You're refurbishing the planes while they're on the ground, which is the most creative thing I've heard, because I've interviewed every airline CEO. And so that is really interesting. You've taken this downtime and done something really unique with it, which I think is really a testament to, the, to WestJet. Yeah, and when, so when these aircraft do come back, it is going to be a very different look than they would otherwise be seeing on a narrow body aircraft with WestJet. And so that is, uh, that's an exciting opportunity for us to demonstrate as we become this global network carrier, exactly what that's going to look like. I was very excited to hear you have 10 787s so with another 10 potentially on order. You have three already in the fleet. Things are working well in your international expansion. Um, how does it feel to have that flight to London, Dublin and Paris? Well, and to have those flights, and you, you, you hit the three destinations exactly, London, Paris, Dublin, but importantly, out of Calgary. And that's certainly new for, uh, for Western Canada and for the Northwestern United States. So the amount of sixth freedom traffic that we saw through Calgary over this summer uh, was, uh, was uh, a pleasant surprise for us. We knew that there was a market there, but even to see the results that we did see. So this first summer with the 787 has been a, been a terrific success, and we're thrilled with the product. Well, we're thrilled for you. And here at GBTA, we've made a huge investment in Western Canada and Calgary is a spot and just by the our attendance being up 200 percent this year yeah. over last year tells us the market's happy here there's people here that want to do business they want to learn and that you people are very well positioned I can't thank you enough for joining me today my name is Scott Solombrino here at GBTA in Calgary and I want to welcome everybody to our next major global event which will be our GBTA Europe event in Munich in November hope to see you all in Munich <laughs>